hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this gaming logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration I'm going to decrease it to 10 seconds and background color I'm going to choose black color and simply hit OK and then hit OK. So we will get this composition. Let's choose grid and guide option and hit on title section to get this grid. Now I have this logo file over here. I have downloaded this logo from freepick.com. The link is available in the description so you can do check it out. And let's adjust the size of this logo like this. If you see this logo in court, uh, full resolution, we will get something like this. Now let's select this logo and convert this logo into 3D like this and press P for position and let's create one keyframe like this and go to around let's say 2.15 frames and create another keyframe. Go to the start press r for rotation and let's create one keyframe at y rotation and hit u so we will get this keyframes and let's go to the last keyframe and let's make it one complete rotation like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you see this animation we will get something like this now let's select this and we will go to the let's change to view horizontal like this and now we will select this logo and let's go to the top view and we will bring this totally over here until it's gonna look out of this composition like this okay so let's choose active camera and one view and if you see we will get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this okay now select this logo again press r for rotation and we can rotate it on z axis also so let's create one keyframe at z and let's make it minus 45 go over here and let's make this zero like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift i'm gonna move this over here so if i see this animation i will get something like this okay so now select this logo press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this move all attributes into the new composition and let's convert this into pre-comp and name it as logo animation and hit ok and hit ok okay so this is gonna be my animation of logo like this now we will create one displacement map so press ctrl n to create ramp 1 and hit ok press ctrl y to create a solid background layer like this and go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for effect called fractal noise let's double click to apply and basic i'm going to choose turbulence smooth and noise type i'm going to choose blocks and complex uh, let's choose somewhere around maybe 2 and let's go to the contrast and increase the contrast a little bit go to the transform properties unlink this uniform scaling and increase the scale width and decrease the height like this alt click on this revolution tab and type time into let's say 400 so we'll get this kind of animation now let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 op to open the project window select this ramp and move this over here and let's lock this select this logo animation like this and let's move this downwards like this press f4 and go to the track mat and choose luma mat ramp 1 so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now select both of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it again and let's call it as let's say one 
now select this one in our project window hit ctrl d to duplicate it and bring this over here like this now let's hide this one for now select this one let's play the animation and we will apply one effect called find edge effect on it so we'll get something like this and if you invert it we will get this kind of stuff so let's zoom in and go to around 10 frames and then i'm gonna select this two and then i'll move this over here so first it will animate this and then it will start to animate this okay or instead of that there is another thing you can do let's go to around five second maybe select this two and let's move this over here and apply fill effect on it and because uh, if you see our logo is in the blue format so let's choose bluish color like this and hit ok select this hit ctrl d let's move this a little bit forward and choose the lighter version of it blue like this now select this hit ctrl d and let's move this forward and let's delete this fit we don't want that right now okay so if you play this animation we will get this kind of stuff okay so now i'm gonna go inside this too first let's see what our animation looks like it looks something like this now at this point i want a logo reveal of my logo so i'll double click to open this uh, and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select both of them and select this ramp right click go to the reveal and reveal their in source project and simply hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding alt I will simply replace it with this ramp too. Now let's go at this point inside this ramp like this and then I'm gonna do one thing I'm gonna select this ellipse and I'm gonna create one ellipse like this then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option make it zero create one keyframe and go to around 3.15 frames and increase the size of it like this let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect choose gaussian blur and let's increase the blurriness like this so if you see we will get something like this and if you see this thing over here we will get this kind of middle reveal of this logo like this so let's see first we will get this kind of stuff and then this now uh, we have created this ramp but we need to use it again so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit ctrl zero and i'll select this ramp one composition and i'll move this over here like this then i'm gonna go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for tint effect and simply apply this tint if you swap these colors obviously you will get different results and in map white i'm gonna choose this bluish version of it and instead of black i'm gonna choose darker version of this blue maybe like this now select this ramp go to the effect and presets panel and search for find edge effect again and double click to apply and invert this now select this ramp hit ctrl d again and i'm gonna move this a little bit backward and i don't want find edge effect on this one and i'll bring this downwards now select this ramp effect go to the blending mode and choose screen so we'll get this kind of thing now select both the layers press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity like this let's make it somewhere around 25 you can select this ramp or you press ctrl y to create one background layer and move this downwards select this ramp you can choose and try multiple blending options over here so so you will get a different different results for this and you can simply change the opacity to 15 or even less than that like this and then uh, select all the permost layers like this all the one to two layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo animation and hit ok and go to the effect and presets panel and search for light sweep effect and simply double click to apply so we'll get this kind of light sweep so let's play this animation from the start first this animation and after the main reveal i want this light sweep animation so create one keyframe at the center hit u 
let's go to around five frames and let's move this light swift from here to here now let's select this one and let's decrease the opacity a little bit like this and let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for curves and double click to apply and if you change the values from here i mean the graph as you guys can see we will get a different different results like this so in channels you have rgb let's choose this blue so it will affect the bluish lines of it so i'll move this graph a little bit downwards like this and change the opacity of it okay now i'm gonna create one ellipse and by holding shift i'm gonna create one proper circle then press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect apply this gaussian blur and increase the value of this blurriness and let's move this over here select this ramp choose alpha mat again select this shape layer hit ctrl d bring this downwards select this ramp and choose alpha mat again like this and you can select both the layers and you can change the blurriness of it like this and if you want then you can increase the scale of this like this now what i'm gonna do let's initially let's make the value of this one to zero properly and let's make the quarter resolution first like this from this thing i'm gonna create one keyframe over here and go to around somewhere over here and then i'm gonna increase the size of this one okay so if i see this animation now we'll get something like this select those keyframe and you can hit f9 then you can select this logo you can hit ctrl d select this logo press s and increase the scale of it let's choose the full resolution and let's see how does it looks and either you can apply find edge effect on this one also if you apply this and make this inverted and if you choose choose on screen you will get something like this and then if you want then you can change the opacity of this one to 10 or even less than that to get something like this or instead of that you can up delete this find edge effect and you can make the opacity to 15 maybe to get a little bit of extra so if i see this complete animation now i'm gonna get something like this so let's change decrease the opacity a little bit or you can apply find the find edge effect and make this inverted so you will get something like this and select this and move this a little bit forward so it will start to animate a little bit later okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal and after the all the animation stuff you can add adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect to apply and increase the glow radius increase the glow threshold like this let's make this quarter now select this logo animation press s create one keyframe over here go to around 7 seconds and let's make this 115 and 15 so we will get some scaling animation with this animation also like this so this is how you can create the simple glitchy looking logo reveal inside of after effects without using third party plugins see this in full resolution you will get something like this so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned